Hey YouTube, coming at you with another video. Um, today, today I'm going to be doing, uh, making one batch of candles of 12. Here I have my 12 ounce vessels. They've already been cleaned. And I have my 8 ounce vessel. This is generally what I'm going to call my fall collection, although I Okay, guys, I just wanted to kind of give you um, an overview of the stuff that I'm using today. Over here, there we have my Presto Pot where the um, wax is melting. Here I have my, my wicks. Okay, <laughs> here is my, my wicks and a few candle notes. And these are my wicks for my 8 ounce candles with some glue stickers. Here's my jars and here's my scents. Paper towels for cleaning out my pour pots. And alcohol. And over there. <laughs> I have my waxes that I'm using. I use um, <clears throat> IG464 soy wax by um, I get from Candle Science. So um, my wax is melting. When I'm gonna um, come back, I'm gonna start um, wicking my jars. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start with the eight ounce wick. And I'm simply just going to take my wick stickers, peel one off, stick my wick on, uh, the little gadget you've seen in my earlier videos, I use this to kind of help me center my jars, my wicks in my jars. So it looks like the wax is melting pretty fast. Ooh. Okay. So, basically, this is what I'm going to be doing with this and the um, 12 ounce jar. So let me go on and get those wicked up and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um. Okay, as you can see, I have my jars wicked give you a little peep <laughs> uh, this camera. anyway as you can see I have my jars wicked and I have my pour pots my wax is all almost ready to go I'm just waiting for it to get to 175 and it's going to cool down Okay, so I'm going to be doing my 8 ounce jars first, which means I'm going to need 2 point, for my 8, yeah, for my 8 ounce jars I need 2.2 pounds of, of wax, 2.25 pounds of wax to pour, and I'll be measuring it out here. So, um, unt until I get um, started on the pouring, because I'm still waiting for my wax. Let me bring you up here. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my wax to melt down completely and get to the right temperature. It's almost there. Um, so, once I begin to pour and get to the right temperature, I'll bring you back. Although I do have someone that requests these particular scents. So with that being said, let's get started. My wax to get to at least 175 so that I can add my fragrance. Uh, this is a pure soy wax. And in order for it to bind with the molecules, of the fragrance oil, 
the temperature needs to be at a certain temperature, which is 175 to 180 in order for my fragrance to bind. So, trying to get it up there. Let me check it real quickly again. Okay. It's moving slowly. Okay, so. Okay, guys, I'm back. I finally got my temperature up to at least 178 degrees Fahrenheit. It's at 180 now. So, what I'm going to do is pour some wax into this container and into this container. Because for these three separate jars, I need... Um, Okay, for my 8 ounce jar, I need 1.125 ounces each. Since there's different fragrances. This one is very vanilla. I need 1.125 ounces to fill these three jars. And this is my clean, yes, that's my clean cotton. And I need one point. One two five to fill that jar, which gives me a total of two point two five ounces for the whole thing. So, um, this is the very very vanilla. I oh, I wish you guys could smell this. This is it smells so good. But anyway, let me stop talking and measure one last time. Yeah. So we're at. 182 Fahrenheit so I'm going to um go ahead and transfer my oil into this container oh yeah let me get my glasses can't see without my glasses well at least my reading glasses <laughs> so here we have ounces so I'm going to pour some here and I need one point one, two, five for my first batch. So, tear it out. Turn it on. Tear. So, I need one point one, two, five. One, oops. <laughs> and I need 1.125 pounds. I thought ounces was weird. I'm like, that's a little teeny bit. So it's 1.12 pounds. Ten ounces. So that's one point, that's 11 ounces. Okay, get in there, pounds, 72. So that's 1.03, 7, 10, 12, 225 is what I need. One point two one. Okay, that's it. Two two five, and I'll put that back into the um, container. And I'm gonna um, bring you down so you can actually see. <laughs> Let me make sure you. Okay, so I have my <clears throat> 1.125 ounces. I'm going to add my um, fragrance oil. Mmm, smells so good. This particular candle, I'm going to 
keep white. I also want to add my UV inhibitor. Inhibitor. So I'm going to use about a quarter, about a quarter to one pound to keep my candles from turning yellow or changing colors or whatever. So this is my UV inhibitor. And just add it right in. And I'm going to stir this for about 20 so times one. Don't want to stir too fast because you will get undesirable things going on. Like too many air bubbles and then you could get cradles when it cooled down. So yeah. Okay, so that's my very vanilla. I'm gonna let that cool down to 130. I pour my next and that's going to be okay I need one point I need one point one two five again So that's one, twelve point fifteen point two five point two three four point two five. Okay, so I'm going to pour the remainder back into my pot. going to add my clean cotton scent and I'm going to use the color green so oh that smells so good <laughs> it smells so good oh gosh okay so I'm going to pour that in Add my UV inhibitor. And this time I'm going to add some color. I think with this I'm just going to, I don't have my, I should have bought that one in here, but I'll be shaving some off this one. This is green. break off some. Oh man. Okay. Let me shave some. Oh. Pretty. And give it a stir. The same kind of stir you give in the previous pot. About 20. Now this I can pour on some, you know, a little bit on some paper to give me the exact color this is going to look like. So what can I use? This clean cotton smells so awesome. Mm. Wow. Looking at 
this. I already know I want it to be maybe just a little bit darker. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm just get ready and pour this this one. The thing about soy is the longer you let it sit, the more it combines it binds with your uh, scents. But you don't want it to sit too long because um when it starts getting below 135, it will tend to turn cloudy on you so i'm gonna set that there and i'm going to go ahead and bring over my very vanillas and pour those okay i hope you guys can see You don't want to pour too fast because you will get bubbles. Craters and all that kind of stuff going on. Oh, this smells so good. Whoa. It smells delicious. Ooh. So, I have a little left here, and I'm going to bring over my clean cotton. Set those right there, let them do their thing. This is my very vanilla. The person that wanted these particular ones, the very vanilla, they're a real estate agent and they wanted to use them in their open houses. So that's cool. At 145, I need this to calm down a little bit. Just a little bit. Check it one more time. Should be able to go ahead and pour. Mm, still a little too hot to pour right now. So let's let that cool down some while we um, pour our wax for. My 12 ounce jars. Oh, since I'm doing two of each 12 ounce jars, I need 3.96 ounces per jar, per 12 ounce jar. So, let me, I'm going to check this one more time and then I'm going to pour. Mm hmm. 135. Let's turn this down. Okay, that needs to go down now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
um, check my clean scent. Mm, taking a minute to calm down here. I need this to get to at least 135 before I pour. at 138. Let's give it a few more seconds. I don't know why I didn't just bring my drops. <laughs> I guess I just wanted to use up these blocks of colors. So yeah that needs to come down so So I can, yeah, I can go ahead and pour my clean scent candles. That's at 135 exactly. Be okay if it's a little cooler. Actually better if it's a little cooler. Longer with soy candle. Yeah, the more it binds with your um, fragrance oil. candles they make my house and make me feel so good okay this should be ready to go yeah it's ready to go okay this is the clean scent it smells so good it smells just a little bit better than gain. Yeah, a little better than gain detergent. Fabric soft, no. It's a little leftover for that one. Usually when I get a little leftover like that, that's not much. I might make myself a little personal tart. That the heart, that hard enough. Okay. 194. So let's just get this over here. Okay, so, so far, we got our 8-ounce candles done. Isn't that pretty, y'all? So pretty. So delicious. Okay, so now we're going to work on our 12-ounce candles. So here I'm going to be using, this is cinnamon, pumpkin, and banana nut. Don't need that. So I guess I'll pour banana nut first. And I think it was a 0.75 ounces that I need for each container. 
yeah. I really need a little carving knife, so let me get one to change the battery out. Stop just in time. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. Let me check the um, temperature here. Perfect. Um, for the banana nut, for each one of these particular jars, I need 0.96 ounces of wax, which is just a little less than, so I'm doing the banana nut, so I'm going to use a little bit of the red with some um, pumpkin pigmentation, give it like a little brownish color. Maybe I'll do banana nut last because I think I got some brown that, and yellow that I can use. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the pumpkin. Let me tear that out. I want ounces. Okay. Nine six ounces. Okay, so hmm. Let's put this on pounds. I uh, know I need less than a little less than a pound. Seventy two point seven two. I need point nine six. One, two, point nine five, point nine, point nine nine. That'll work. Okay, I'm going to let me go ahead and check the temperature again. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and pour my fragrance. And this one is pumpkin. Yes. Pumpkin pie. Oh, it smells so good. orange color to this to these two candles I actually found my little shaving knife <laughs> so so good it smells just like pumpkin pie <laughs> made me want to go out and get a pumpkin pie pumpkin pie Maybe because the um, container was a little chilly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
this one is ready to pour. So let me pour these two. Calculations wrong. Oh, man. See, that's why you gotta be precise in what you're doing. And once you mess up, it's almost like starting over again. I need this fragrance to bind with the whole flavor, not just on one. So, let me just add, say, I'm gonna need some more wax. But that's all good. So, let's try it again. so good mm. next we're going to be doing the cinnamon slide those over there and I know I'm going to need a little more than a pound so let me just Clean that out. that to go up a little bit and I think I'm gonna need some more wax so let me get that get a pound of wax while I'm waiting okay guys I'm back so it looks like I um instead of using like 9.6 ounces for one candle where I multiplied that times six to give me what the total amount that I need it looks like something was a little off so I think what I needed was probably 10 ounces per jar so I had to add more wax to my um, pot so that I can get these four jars done and yeah that looks like enough so, I know with a little bit left here, can't possibly equal <laughs> to the shortage there. So, basically I just had to add more wax. I'm still going to tear it out to make sure that, um, I probably, instead of doing it at, I think it was at, um, yeah, 0.96, I think I'm going to just do it at 10 ounces because this is a 12 ounce container and it should hold my 12 ounce containers <laughs> let's see what they hold okay um <laughs> 12 ounce lids 
okay so it should hold 8.5 by volume and the overflow is 10.3 ounces yeah ounces and I kind of like to do a little overflow I mean they recommend that you know candle makers you know fill it to the lip right here but I kind of like to bring mine up a little, a little bit I don't know why I just do just make it feel like you know the candle is full but um I'm getting used to doing it right there because I also think aesthetically it looks better like this so yeah so I think I'll pour them at um, my 12 ounce candles I'll pour them at 8.5 ounces so that means I need a total of 16.10 to do two ounces I mean to do two 12 ounce jars okay so while my wax is really melting I'm gonna um, come back see you in a little bit hey guys I'm back uh, let me check my temperature it's good to go so I'm going to be pouring cinnamon candies cinnamon candies mm. oh smell good okay so I'm gonna pour 20 ounces each one holds about well it said 9.6 obviously from the last it was not enough so I'm gonna pour 20 ounces on for these for each one So let me go to ounces and make sure it's teared out. Keep that warm. Scale turned off. <laughs> Tear that out now. Eighteen point two. I want twenty. Okay, that's 21. <laughs> I really don't know. 20.9. Okay, that'll work. Okay. I'm going to pour in my cinnamon candies. Cinnamon candies. That's different. I think I want to put in some. Color. I love color, you guys. Y'all know I love doing colors. A little UV inhibitor. Keep my color nice and vibrant and gently stir yes I could Ooh, this smells so good mm. I'm gonna really copy that so let me use 
Hmm. Yeah, let me get that. My candles look so beautiful, y'all. <laughs> this cinnamon candy smells delicious. Mm. I think I might want it just a little teeny bit darker. Give me that deep cinnamon color. Not too much. Oh, this cinnamon candy smells so good. Hey guys, you remember? I don't know. Maybe I'm dating myself, but they used to have, and they, they still do probably have them on the market. They, um, little red cinnamon dots or drops, cinnamon drop candy. That's exactly what this smell like. The little red cinnamon candy balls. <laughs> Smells so good. Mm. So let me check the temperature. See if I can pour. Mm, needs to come down some. So while that's doing that, let me go ahead and get another 20 ounces for my next candles. Okay, I need an additional pot. That's not going to work. That's not going to work like that. So let me just go ahead, pour my cinnamon. Snow, so reminiscent of my childhood. Mmm. Sweet reflection. Yeah, I can pour. Yeah. It's good to go. This is too much. <laughs> Come on now. So I'm thinking 20 ounces is the amount that you pour when you want to overflow. And I did say I wanted an overflow. Okay. See, this is what is meant by overflow. Yeah, I can touch it now. Guys, can you see how it's up to here? It should be here, and this is the overflow, which is all good. I love the overflow. That's my cinnamon candy candle. Oh, it smells so good. So let me clean this out. And get on with my last two which is banana nut and I can eat some dinner or something because I'm starving over here oh stop 
nothing like mobbing, y'all. Okay. Put that on there. My temperature. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I want to do 20 ounces. ounces exactly. I'll use that to make some tarts. Okay, so I'm going to add my banana nut. <sighs> this stuff is like, wow. Okay, let me add that banana nut. yellow to give me a I'm gonna add a little yellow three four, four drops of yellow and hmm, maybe a hint of orange to kind of give it that banana nut look A little inhibit UV inhibit <clears throat> excuse me a little UV inhibitor and let it go oh yeah it's a little too orangey I'm gonna add some more yellow mmm this smell exactly like banana nut. <laughs> banana nut bread. Wow. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. I like Turn my pot off. <sighs> Got those out of the way. So these will cure and settle tonight. And tomorrow morning I'm going to clip, clip the wicks and clean them up a little bit. And put the labels on them. And let them cure for about two weeks before I let them go. Well, if I have to let them go sooner than that, of course I will. But I would like at least two weeks for them to cure. Um, but seven days is good enough. So and when I do do that tomorrow morning, I will um, return the video on. So you can see, actually see it done, being done. So I'm going to pour. I think I'm going to pour. <laughs> Let me check first. Nope. 
won't be pouring anything at that temperature. Okay. But in the meanwhile, basically that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if I can answer any questions or anything regarding how I how I'm running my candle business, please feel free to um, leave me a message and I will gladly answer it for you. So I still need this to get at 135 at least. So with that being said, thank you for watching the video and I will see you tomorrow morning. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm finally down to at least 135 and I'm going to go ahead and pour the banana nut bread candles. Perfect. Just enough. Yay. Perfect. And they smell so delicious. Mm. So I now know, I'm going to make a note of that. In order to fill one of my 20 ounce jars, this particular one, I need, I mean 12 ounce jar, this particular one, I need 10 ounces. If I do two, I need 20 ounces. Three, 30 ounces, and so forth. So, so guys, basically, this is it. I will see you tomorrow morning. Once they are settled. So, here we have my... This is my cinnamon. I mean, this is my banana nut. This is my cinnamon. Let me make sure you guys can see. This video gonna take some serious editing. Editing. So, oh yeah, there they are. Those are my 12 ounce. My pumpkin, cinnamon, and banana nut. And these are my 8 ounces. Clean cotton and very vanilla. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning, YouTube. I'm back to finish off, <clears throat> excuse me, yesterday's video. There you see the finished candles. So, what I'm going to do is clip them. And maybe um, clean them up if they need clean it up a little bit and put the labels on them and ship them out I've already done my um, labels I do my labels from online labels I don't know if you can see this or not but there they are very vanilla clean cotton Pumpkin pie, cinnamon, banana nut, and basically that's it because I have three fur vanillas and three cotton. So, with that being said, let's get started and get them clipped, get them clipped and cleaned. Okay. This is what I use to basically clip my um, candles with the wick. So I'm going to remove the um, holders. They smell so.
so good. This smells so good early in the morning. Mm. Trying to get this done so that uh, when I get back, <clears throat> excuse me, when I get back in later today, I won't have to worry about doing this. This video should be uploaded. Should be uploaded um by no later than Saturday, I know. But I want to try to get it up before then. And I usually mm, clip my labels, um, clip my wicks down to maybe um quarter of an maybe an inch or so. So when the customer receives, you know, <clears throat> the candle and the um instructions, they know the to clip it just a little bit more. I see I have some imperfection going on over here with these candles, this batch. But that's not a problem. I'll clean it up with the heat gun. And if you We'll see. I'm going to show you some of the imperfections and how I clean them up. Okay. So now that we have them all clipped, let me show you some of the imperfections. Remember, these are my soy candles. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but right there is like a little crater. On the, uh, on the pumpkin pie candle, it looks a little rough. So what I'm going to do is take my heat gun and clean them up. I'm just going to do one so you can see, and then I'm going to turn off the, um, so you won't have to hear this noise. Okay guys, that's generally how I fix my candles. I'm going to turn the um, camera off and fix these and I'll be back. Let me see, I don't know if we got a good view since I'm on the back side <laughs> of the camera. Let me see if I can bring it up closer for you. See right there? imperfection that's normal with a soy candles well actually it's normal with all candles and generally that's due because maybe it's a whole lot of factors why that happens uh it could be that i stir it too fast or pour it too fast or didn't pour it well i tried to pour it the right temperature and mm, this is my cotton clean let me see if I can show you. Okay. Mm, this is my cinnamon pie. Cinnamon. This is my cinnamon candle. See the imperfection? And this is my. Mm, Um, this is, yeah, this is the banana nut. See the imperfection right there? So, 
I'm going to clean these up and I'll be back to show you how they look after they cleaned. See the little sinkhole right there? All that needs to be cleaned up. This is my cinnamon candy. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see, earlier this morning, I showed you the candles when they were kind of rough. But as you can see, pretty smooth now, isn't it? They smell so good. <laughs> see? The difference? This one's still a little warm. But, as you can see, this one. The cradles and everything that was messed up in there is gone now. It's a smooth, silky, clear top. Okay. See? My cinnamon candy. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the labels on. At least a couple of them so you can see. This one is banana... I showed you my labels earlier this morning. I created these myself. <clears throat> myself. So this is banana nut. And yeah. Basically, I'm just going to put it. Wait a minute. <laughs> I like to wipe my tops a little bit more with some alcohol. Okay. So basically this is what I do. I clean it up my jar with a little alcohol. And let's place the banana nut. the lid on it and there you go that's my banana nut candle so let's do a smaller one very vanilla this is my very vanilla hey YouTube coming at you with another video um Today, today I'm going to be doing uh, making one batch of candles of twelve. I still need to put like my, my warning labels on the bottom, but <coughs> essentially, and my eight ounce vessel. There you have it. This is generally what I'm going to call my fall collection. My eight ounce, very vanilla, and let's do one of the cinnamon. And one of the pumpkin. This is my cinnamon candy. Oh, they smell so good, y'all. Cinnamon, cinnamon. <laughs> there you have it my cinnamon candy candle and let's do one more of the um let's do one of the pumpkin pie this is pumpkin pie mm. smells so good
There you go. Pumpkin pie. 12 ounce candle. Okay guys, I'm going to finish off the rest of these and I'll be back. I'm back guys. So here we have the finished product. My very vanilla with the warning labels. My cinnamon candy candle with the warning labels all ready to go and my pumpkin pie with the warning label this is my clean cotton this smells so good <laughs> And there you have it guys my finished product so if you are um, interested in any of these products you can find them at www.sweetreflectionscandlecoat.com and I want to thank you for your time for watching my videos sorry about the movement here <laughs> and um, I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching Please like, comment, share, and share. Notice my little Ravens jacket. I got them sitting on my Ravens jacket. We all love them Ravens, don't we? Okay. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Bye.